the Airport Carbon Accreditation Programme stands as a beacon in the aviation sector, a systematic and structured pathway designed for airports to manage and ultimately eliminate their carbon footprint. To meet our goal of net zero CO2 emissions by 2050, we are now expanding the rigorous carbon management framework, introducing level five of airport carbon accreditation. This new level will certify airports for reaching a net zero carbon balance. To understand how airports can reach level five, we need to understand what their carbon footprint consists of. This is divided into three scopes according to the GHG protocol. Scope one covers direct emissions, for example, think of emissions from vehicles that the airport operates, like buses transporting passengers to and from aircraft. Scope 2 entails all emissions from purchased electricity. To reduce emissions from Scope 2, airports need to purchase energy from the cleanest sources. Scope 3 covers indirect emissions. These are the result of activities that are not owned or controlled by the airport. Let's consider emissions from flights. To lower them, airports need to engage with airlines and support them in choosing more sustainable practices and solutions, like the adoption of sustainable aviation fuels. To become accredited at level five, an airport must achieve and maintain over 90% absolute reductions in scope one and two emissions and commit to net zero for scope three emissions by 2050 or earlier. It's important to know that 95% of emissions from aviation are not owned nor controlled by airports, so the real challenge lies in collaborating with their entire ecosystem. This is why partnerships are essential and a key requirement of Level 5 accreditation. In this way, the Airport Carbon Accreditation Programme is an enabler in the quest for a sustainable aviation future, taking a collaborative, all-hands-on-deck approach to climate action. Join us on the journey to net zero, the journey to level five.